Oh, it's good. Tiger Lake. Here we go. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. So the radiator, it's always had overheating problems, this car. So we're totally sorting out the cooling system. We've ordered a water pump. We'll sort out the thermostat, new hoses, new radiator. I'm done with that one. It's 10 years old. It's been repaired. It's blocked. It's all sorts of things. So we need to get our hands on a radiator. Put that in, plumb that up, meet up a few things, get the thermo working right and get rid of that ridiculous um, flex fan on there that ring barks me every time I get in that bloody engine bay. So some minor things to do in here. Look, we might keep this 90s rock sort of um, rocket cover thing for now. We do want to get rid of them, put some Chevrolet scroll ones on them, but that's going to be round two or round 2.5, I think, before we worry about that sort of stuff. Focus is to get it reliable and sealed so it's not leaking anything, and then get in and drive. It sound right, boy. Oh, you know what this is? Fresh in, straight from the courier. Now, We've got Phoenix radiators here. We put it out there and these blokes come to the party. They've got a pretty good looking product. Scotty's actually got one of these in his um, 55, 56. What's he got? But we've been hanging to see this. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. Ooh, with a sticker, good, we need that. Ooh, and some uh, bottle openers. These boys know how to impress. And a cap, which is not a bad hat actually. Good on them. I don't know if it'll get any play over the car builders. It probably will because the colour's black. Good work to the, the crew at Phoenix know how to roll. It's like Christmas. Oh, here we go. It's even black. We don't even have to paint it. Perfect. And then we've got fans. Powder coated. It on there. Perfect. So this is actually to suit a HK to HG, which the old Chevrolet I had it measures about 600. This is only about six, 625 on it, and it's slightly shorter in height, where it's running about 460. Now the poxy old Chev one, it's pushing about to the top about 560. So we measured up, we've got a bit of height. The good thing is, radiator hose on the right spot. We've just gone and bought some to suit a HK, HG, whatever, with a 350 in it. The motor is the same, so it's gonna to talk to it. So factory hoses, we should be sweet. This is gonna save us a lot of time. It's painted, it's black, it's how we want it. Let's go throw it over and see how it looks. With minimal mods here. We're just going to open up this rad support. Now, I'm not going to bother making it symmetrical because the battery on the Chev here. If we try and make it, if we get all OCD and try and make it all center line perfect, goodbye battery. So for the sake of shit, it's going to be lucky to be 30 mil. I reckon we're just going to move this post here across. We can section it down there, drag it across and then just have this bolt up. So let's get cracking on the radio. All right, so that's a new water pump. So this car's always had overheating issues. What I've done is overhaul the whole thing where we've put a new pump in, I'm about to put a new thermostat in, we've flushed the block, we've deleted the radiator, and we've got a new radiator and new hoses all around. So everything, apart from the block, we've replaced. Um, something else to consider is the block hugger headers too. We've moved, we've got rid of those. Allegedly, they give you a bit of heat soak into the motor. But this new Phoenix radiator, should be no reason that it can't keep it cool. It's got twin thermos on it. So it's a matter of put it in, let's drive it and see what we can achieve. 